Hi, my name is Holly Cheek and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. Today I will be going over the enhanced functionality of the SOLIDWORKS 2014 Weldment Profiles. SOLIDWORKS has always had a small set of Weldment Profiles available for use upon install. As well as you could download a larger set from the SOLIDWORKS content in the task pane. Downloading these was as simple as holding down your control and clicking on the set that you need and then saving these to the correct location on your computer. I already downloaded these files for the ANSI inch, and I have them saved underneath this Weldment Profiles 13. So let's just take a closer look at what this is. I have my ANSI profiles here. If I expand it out, then I get my different Weldment profiles. Then if I look at my aluminum tube square, I can see that I have a different file for each different size that is used for the aluminum tube square. Now with SOLIDWORKS 2014, these profiles are configurable. So let's take a look at the SOLIDWORKS 2014 profiles, and I have them here underneath my Weldment Profiles 14. Notice here all I have is this ANSI configurations, and if I select directly on that, it gives me the different Weldment profiles below. I'll go ahead and take another look at this aluminum tube square. So opening this up, I can see, going to the configurations tab, all of the different sizes are in this one file underneath the configurations. Another huge benefit to this functionality is the ability to use a design table. You can quickly manage or create your weldment profiles from this design table. If I scroll down here, we can see that there's about 153 different sizes generated from this design table. Heading back to the Feature Manager design tree, we can see that all of those different sizes only have one sketch. This means that you can add another location point on just this one sketch and all of the sizes will have the same location point. There is no need to add location points for each individual file anymore. This is a huge time saver. Having one sketch for your Weldment profile allows you to replace the structural member with ease because all of your different sizes will have the same location points. So it's smart enough here to notice that we have a different configurations. So this is just looking at the configurations and I'll go ahead and just replace this. Previously, this would sometimes create dangling references, but now this issue has been solved with using the Weldment Profiles configurations. In today's video, we covered the new capabilities of Weldment Profiles in SOLIDWORKS 2014, showing you that you can configure multiple Weldment Profiles of structural members as library features. For more useful videos like this, subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.